In this video, we're going to be just talking about how we can make it look um, a lot neater. Just finish off the, the web pages, fill out the blank per sections that we haven't really util utilized as well as we could do. So what I've basically done is I've gone through every single page and I've already started this process just to save a little bit of time, just so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, I had some gaps here. I'm going to use this, uh, this area here as an example. On this page, I've already started the process. I'm going to put two more images here just to fill those gaps in on this side i've got a few images here as well i'm going to put one more here and here i've already filled it in i've got four fit put images there made sure the proportions are uh, make sense i mean these seem a little bit tall uh, so if i really wanted to i could drag this one in hopefully when the computer switches uh decides to wake up there we go just going to drag this in just ever so slightly Give me a little bit more flex, uh, flexibility just to drag this up as well. The same thing with this. And by doing so, we push it up. So it just makes it look a little bit neater. So this page is fine. I'm going to save that. Events page, I just need one more image here. And I'm happy with the rest. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and to be fair, we, we've got a bit of a gap here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this out, I'm going to right click inside here, split this one, I'm going to have two rows, that's fine, and merge these two together, there we go, so that's back to normal again, oh, the text has changed, so what we'll have to do, I'm going to undo this, ah, that's what I have to do, I'll drag this up, um, that's the only issue. So what I'll have to do, right, first things first, this has to stay where it is because we want to keep the consistency going the same. Put just in here. And by this point in the exam, it should be basically finished. So this is just maximize the potential again the highest possible mark so what i'm going to do is i'm going to split this one up as well two rows yeah that's fine i'm going to drag this one in here and there we go push that underneath there we go i'll merge that with that in a moment but first things first i should yes i do i'm going to drag this up and just my thinking was if I could maybe perhaps move this content into here, make it left as well. There we go. Push all these to the left. Okay, should let me just do that. Okay, um, just gonna call it text. Um, body for now, that's okay. There we go, back to normal. Now, if it doesn't work, you can just undo it. Now, I don't like the way that looks actually, so what I'm going to do is go back to where it was, yeah, um, and leave it how it was before. And this is a point, boys and girls. You shouldn't be afraid to try to change small things. Just see what it looks like because you, you won't know unless you try. So I'm going to leave them as they were. Um, oh, I just realized. They're centered when they shouldn't be. So I'm going to make sure that's all to the left. There it works better. Okay, so. I'm going to fix this again, there we go, and drag this in as well. There we go. So what I may have to do is either leave that bag or maybe see if I can throw some images in there. I'm going to drag this in here and put this in the centre, there we go, and oh, that's why. By putting this in the centre, let's push this in the centre as well. So what I'll have to do is create a new CSS style for this section here. So it's different from that. Um, so I'm going to undo that. 
hopefully. I'm just going to put this in the image and hopefully positioning maybe. Doesn't give me a simple way of putting it in the middle. No, it doesn't. Okay, I'm gonna press cancel here. And what I may have to use is maybe page title. All right, there we go. So all I did was I clicked on page title, then put uh, the align center. So it's allowed me to put the image in the middle without affecting this because the page title is always in the center anyway. So I'm happy with that now. All I need is one picture there and maybe two images there and a few images here as well, it's just to fill in the gaps. So this one's fine, we'll save that. And what I'm going to do get this done so I'm going to do this one here as an example just so you can see how I got these sizes exactly the same so you can see if you look at the numbers 330 330 220 and 220 so the height and the height and the width for both of these images are identical um, and all I did was I put them in there and changed the numbers here once I was happy with one of the images so I'm going to split this one up here split I want two columns press ok it gives me two gaps there yes it messes everything up just drag them all back in again Push them in, push them in, there we go. And then push this one into the center as well. And now what we need is to get two suitable images. So we're gonna go in and find something that will fit in there. Hope preferably something you haven't used yet. Now, in this occasion, it seems to be very limited as to how many images you have here available to you. Um, in fact, I'm gonna cancel this and go back here and see what I've got here. So I've got these these four images, so I don't want to reuse them. So go back over here. And I'm gonna see what I haven't used yet. Perhaps this police officer and this image here. So just double check but let's have a look at this. Yeah, why not that one? Or we could even use this one here. Uh, and I think to be fair, the police officer will go better with these two. So I'm gonna get those two images instead. Go back in here and there it is insert image let's get the police officer first again you can choose whichever uh, whichever images you think is best uh, you don't have to follow my lead here this is just, just to show you my thought processes and the tools and the skills that you require to to do this um just describe what you see police Officer standing in front of the car. And there we go. And we just need to get the number. So that was 330. Just going to write 330 in here. And the height is 220. So go back in here. 220. Hopefully, that should give me. Oh, just dragged it in by accident. There we go. And then I should be able to do the same thing here. So insert image, and I'm going to use the the next choice that I made. This one here. Um, we'll put CSI team, and again, two thirty, three thirty. I should fit it in. Now, in this case, just because I want to make this fit in perfectly, I'm just going to drag this out ever so slightly and drag this in to make sure there's no gaps and just basically fine tune it. Make sure they all fit in. Okay, there we go. Still a little bit tall, so we'll drag that up. There we go. So that page is now done. Save. 
And then all you got to do is go around each page and just fill them all in. So I'm going to pause the video here to show you the end results. I'm going to show you the last thing that we need to do just to complete this website. Okay, so this is basically how my website looks now. You'll notice that on every single page, I've tried my best to minimize as much blank space as I can. So I've got some images at the bottom, made sure that they have the same kind of height and kept the proportions in there as well. Yes, it's looking a little bit uh, blurry at the moment. That's just because I'm so far out. So if I zoom in, you'll see that they should be fine. Um, so you can see this is now nice and clean. It's all full competition page as well. I've got some decent images in there. And this here has some images in there as well. If we go back here, I've got a few images there. And I've, it's quite clear that the more serious images are used in the other three pages, the home page, the competition page, and the events page. And the Rises Workshop has more child-friendly images, things that are not too serious. We've got an image of a teenager here, uh, an, an animation here. We've got the cartoon image as well. And uh, things that are not too complicated or text heavy, uh, because in the exam specification, it did actually say the in the briefing at the early uh, at early on, right at the beginning, that they want the um, that particular page, the writers workshop page, to be aimed specifically for teenagers, okay, and the rest to be aimed at adults. So that's hopefully sorted that out. The only two things I'm going to mention now before we finish up this series of videos is uh, making sure that the images are all the right sizes. So if you go through each one and click on it, you'll be able to see the sizes. You can see this one here, 815. That's way below, uh, above the size that's required that we're allowed to use, which is, we're saying 299. So what I'd have to do is open that image in Photoshop and save it as and put it in there again making sure that it's actually below that threshold check the other ones 178 is fine 53 is fine 72 is fine and so on and so forth so you go through every single page and make sure that they are in fact below the number that they've actually allowed us to use 231 274 31 765 so that's a lot larger than it can be now if you even leave one image higher than what they've allowed to do which is 300 kilobytes as i said here and it says it needs to be less than so if it hits 300, it's not less than, then you lose that mark. So all that effort doing that all over every single page uh, will be out the window just because you've forgotten to do one image. So I'm going to show you very quickly again, just in case you don't remember. You find the image. So I'm going to use this one as an example, uh, mystery page. So I'm going to go in here, find that image. There it is. I'm going to open it in Photoshop. If you can't do that way, you can go, always, always go to Photoshop and go to File and Open. Wait for it to load. Hopefully, there we go. And you simply go to File, Save for Web and Devices. Make sure it's PNG. Look at the number 231, much better. Save. And we're going to just save over, literally save over the original one. So I'm going to click on the image there it is press save do I want to replace it yes I do and then push this down if I go back here and you see as if by magic 233 so it takes a few seconds to do but it's well worth doing so go through every single one make sure that's done so I'm gonna show you one more time so this image here you can see even though it's small here it's way above the limit 765 I find that image in here there it is, image 14, click on this, open up, give it a few seconds, file, save for urban devices, give it a few seconds, PNG, look at the number here, definitely below the number, that's fine, save, and it's image 14, make sure it is, yes, click on that, save, do we want to replace, yes we do, give it a few seconds, and then come back here and you'll notice that the number's gone down. So do that all the way through. Make sure every single one of these uh, is done correctly and that, that you're not going over that number. So 86, 160, 250, 73. Uh, let's look at this one. 70, 65 is fine. 250 is fine. 99, 600. So that's too large. I'll do that in a second. So does that. 
that's fine so i'm going to do the last two uh in my own time the last thing i want to show you is if you come back over here and refresh these pages you'll notice at the top it just says untitled document no matter where i go untitled document now very simple way to fix that and it makes it just that much nicer to look at and more professional on each page you have this little area here where it says title this is called the home page you go in here and just type in home page and save control and s this is a competition page so we go in here type in competition i always struggle with this one competition page there we go save Make sure this is saved as well. Can never be too sure. Yep. And this one is events. Events page. Save. And this is a writer's page now. Writers page. No, not writer's page. Writers workshop page. Click away and save. Now if I go back over here. And if I click on the events page, you'll see it says events page at the top. Home page will say home page at the top. Give me a second. I don't know what's happened to the text. I'll have to go back and check. It's not missing there. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes, I'll have to refresh this. I'll have to look at the the table layouts of this so it's always worth checking this always testing it um click on the competition page it says competition go to the events page and then go down to the writers workshop page and that's got the title there at the top as well and that's basically it so make sure you test every single one if you do spot something to be ashamed i mean i'm looking at this page right here and you see it looks perfectly fine but obviously for some reason when i go on to internet explorer the home page doesn't look fine. Now, if I hadn't done this, I wouldn't have known. So always worth checking before you say to yourself, I'm done. And that brings us to the end of this exam.